Hello and welcome. Today is the 27th of July, 2017. My name is Derek. Let's take a quick look at NEM. And I also want to talk about a strategy for getting some uh, good buys and sells if you are fast and alert towards the market. But first, NEM, which is called XEM, not NEM, anyway, it's got a beautiful pattern on the daily time frame where it was declining within a correctionary phase in here for one. And it had another one in here. This one, however, didn't fall down in here. It instead has been making the pattern of uh, trying to develop an uptrend. But we can see at exactly where the price is at now, resistance pull back to the 18 highs. Another move in here, again, pull back to the 18 average highs and test number three. So what this means as a trader myself is it's looking decent. So I can make maybe I can make very small wagers of bringing in entry positions in. And let me emphasize the word small because it, it's only a decent play as I look at it. When I shorten this uh, time frame out, which I'm going to do now, and this is the four hour time frame. Another beautiful pattern. There's the resistance as it comes back to a nice congestion area. Come back in here. I like how this is moving out. And well, it does seem as if it's going to be ready for a breakout. Price action 65, 65. And well, it most certainly seems as if it can make a test to at least the 74 handle. And maybe if you're trying to get the best, cheapest price, it might come back to this key area where it came to in or around the 63 handle. So that is the analysis for XEM. Now I want to talk about a strategy as far as getting good buys and sells. I'm going to use uh, a very recent uh, chart within Dash to do such. And this is a few days ago. And the one minute time frame. If you were looking at this, we would have had at the time a significant period of a trading within 73.5 and 73.7. And then a few minutes of a small rally and then two very good up candles. And in the two minutes going up from about 7.43 to 7.53, that's the difference of 10 basis points or over 1%. So what I d would do immediately at times if I was to be looking at it from this point of view is I would uh, go to a smaller exchange, ones in which don't have as many people on it and go to their dash. And what I would notice say at this time frame is say on a, a larger site like Poloniex or Bittrex, you would see the bid ask uh, spread to be very tight or very close together, where one might be 7365 and the other is 7360. But on a site that would be sm uh, with less people, you would notice the bid ask ratio maybe somewhere around 745 and 710 which makes it very difficult to take market price whenever you want to buy or sell on those tiny exchanges. But because there's less activity on those types of places, if market hasn't caught up and, I, and I'm able to buy, maybe there's a, a, someone looking to sell it, say this exact price, 7405. Yet I see on a place like Bittrex, I can sell right now at 751 or 752, but I can buy on CSEX or any other smaller site and buy at this price. So now I can essentially maybe I can get four dash available so I can buy four at 740 and get an instant gain of about 1.4% when you take in your fee that you would have to pay. And then again, this can work on both sides as well. Because if you're in a situation where something like this happens and you get a decent size fall, 
Well, maybe at the time before it falls on a smaller exchange, it might cost you, well, say in here before the fall, maybe the bid ask is in this range in here. So you have to buy here or you sell here. Well, if this thing falls and none of these things change, well, if I got somebody willing to sell it, say 765, and I'm looking here at a price at say in here at 742, if I happen to have tokens on that site, I'm gonna sell them. And then of course I can buy them right back on say a bigger exchange. Now this can work in larger levels because I remember back in the day when uh, Dash had its big move and I'm gonna bring that chart up now. And this is the daily chart going back to early April. Now on this date, I was seeing some major influxes in price. I was very much a rookie at trading this game as I was really only one month into actively trading. But what I would notice was at the same time, even amongst bigger exchanges, I would see Dash trading for say 40 at one place and maybe 46 at another. And I remember on hit BTC at this time, there was a major, it was like a 15 to 20% difference amongst that site and the majors like Poloniex or Bittrex. So when the wild volatile moves come in, especially when they go up or down very big, like in these situations when it's rallying, you have the 10%, well not 10%, you have the 30% days rather, then on those situations, you are going to be trying to uh, see if there's any differentials in price. Because when price action is doing this, and it's, not, and it's basically going sideways, and it's not having any major up or down moves, that means when enough time comes in, all the exchanges are going to have correct prices, and you can't make any advantages uh, within such. So... I'm going to conclude this video now and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.